Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to finish up our harvest. We have two full trucks and a full combine. So we are going to start off by running these in and emptying them. I have already emptied both trucks once. So we are getting quite the corn yield here. Which is good. And it looks like we're going to have a lot of... Uh, corn straw to bale so that is another good thing so we are going to get these trucks emptied get that combine empty and we're gonna finish up today uh, so if it takes us longer than a half hour it takes us longer we're uh, we're just gonna get her done today get backed up here and get this one unloaded and then we will drive up get this next to the combine so that way the combine can unload and I don't think our auger is well, it is dumping we gotta fix that though there we go it's a little off There we go. It's a little better. It's not perfect, but it's as good as it'll get with this style of auger. definitely going to have more corn than uh, anything else in our bins, which is nice. I am A-OK -okay with that. So I got this section finished that we uh, cut out, and then I got a second headland and I went around that deep wash out there and uh, I'm working on getting this piece done and I was gonna just finish this piece but then my combine filled so I figured well it's as good of a stopping point as any we'll uh, dump some trucks and then get back to it so I haven't been running GPS yet. I don't know if I'm going to. It's like I said last video. Corn's a lot easier to do, uh, you know, freehand than really anything else is. Uh, just because you can follow it pretty well. Soybeans you can too, I guess, but corn is definitely the easiest. So. I think we'll just stick to uh, freehanding it. Alright, so let's get this load dumped. Oh, come on now. Cool, and our... 
or, oh, never mind, I was reading the wrong one down there in the bottom. Our combine is not quite yet done, but it's getting there. It's down to 12%, so by the time we get over there with this truck, it should hopefully be empty. So this truck, we are just going to pull off over here for now. And let's get our combine. Get them fired back up. We're getting it little by little. I think we'll be able to get the last of this in this pass. We'll have to see here. I'm hoping. Oh, we're going to have one row to go pick up. So I think we'll turn our straw off for that. It's not even a full pass of this, so we'll just shut off the straw for a minute. Now we'll keep rocking. And away we go. So it shouldn't take us too much longer to finish. There's not a whole lot. I mean, there is in a way, but... us up by hand and then just do it like that not even set up a new not not gonna set up a new GPS line nothing like that we'll just use what we got and we'll just pay attention when we turn around works for me And then by the time we get down to the other end again, we're going to be full. Which, again, perfectly fine with me. The more corn, the better. In fact, I think while we're on this end, we're going to just go over to this truck here. And we're going to top it off dump out whatever we got 
whatever we can on it. Just so we can keep going. And it'll help too, because then we will be... Uh, by the other truck instead that way we don't fill all the way on the other end and then we gotta drive this truck all the way to it or come all the way up here anything like that Back to cut. Yeah, we're gonna definitely probably end up having that truck full yet. And we'll probably need one more. It's kind of my estimate anyways of uh, how we're going to end up I know we'll for sure fill this one here yet whether or not we'll get another full one after that I'm not entirely sure on that but it is a possibility that is for sure like that this header fits in between here in between our rows fits perfect I think it's like a 16 something like that maybe not entirely sure it's a decent sized header though I like it works pretty good and we're gonna want to stop up here at this end and unload again We are once again about full. There's 90. So. Let's grab this truck. I'm 
curious of what the button is. programmed for uh, let's see so this is maze plus pellet auto load arena mode bail stacking rear mirror it's pumps and hoses Kubota work camera uh, VIP orders HUD extension unit convert See on the off. Cause I know this combine has some interactive stuff on it, but he doesn't want to. Let's try a different key. Like I said, I know this thing has some interactive stuff on it. And for whatever reason, it does not want to work. Not sure why. Unless I have the wrong version of this combine. Because I know there's the one by Tired Iron Modding. And then there was also another one. So this could be that one, but I'm not sure. It's very possible. I think I have two different 8820s, so... Whatever works, I guess. We're going to be getting rid of this combine here most likely anyways after this harvest so not really a huge deal I think we might end up with one more full truck we'll see We'll see what one pass here gets us. It's looking like a decent amount. There's 20. Well, maybe not. This is going to probably take us a couple passes to fill. If we don't get another full truck, it's going to be fairly full truck it's not a hundred percent so what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine until we fill again and then we'll fill up our other truck there and then we'll go until the combines full and then we'll see, that'll kind of give us an idea of how much we got left and how many trucks we got to bring back. Because if we only, if we don't have a whole lot left and we only need one truck, then we'll dump the first one and leave that sitting in the yard. And then we'll grab the second one, dump it, and bring it back. And then, uh, then we'll be good. Think, thinking that's the way that we'll be able to do it. Now, do I want to risk another pass? Mm, probably not. We might fill up. We're at 66 after two passes, so we might as well play it smart. Since we're already here by the truck anyways, we're going to top this one off and then we'll run it till it's full. Oh. 
another thing that's going to be on our list is a uh, grain cart, I'm thinking. Just a little one. We don't need anything big quite yet, but just a smaller one so then we can um, then we can <coughs> if we can find an employee, that is. We have to look for an employee. Uh, which we might have one lined up we'll see kind of have to see if things will work out um, and if it does then we'll definitely get a grain cart because then uh, one of us can combine and one of us can run cart and trucks just kind of help with efficiency around here all right so there is another truck full so let's go until we fill this and then we'll see where we're at I'm thinking we'll be able to get by with just one truck to come back but we shall see I do like these uh, corn textures though that DR modding used on here. They look very nice. I do like these better than like the uh, Alma Missouri ones just because this texture here seems a little more realistic to like my area. That's what. That's the only reason I like this one a little better. I do like the one that uh, was used on Alma, Missouri, but I do kind of like this one a little more. I have played quite a bit of Alma, Missouri, and I really like it, but. When I was. Uh, trying to decide on what map I wanted to use I ended up deciding on this one just cause I like I've played it a lot on my own and uh, really like it so figured why not and we are already 85% full hmm I'm thinking we might have to bring them both yeah we might have to bring both combines back or both trucks sorry just in case if we end up not needing it we end up not needing it but I would much rather bring it and we don't need it than uh, not have it here and then we end up needing it so let's go empty this guy then
We're definitely going to have quite a bit. In terms of corn. Oh, whoops. As I know, after dumping two trucks, it's over 800 bushels. And this is round three. So, anywhere from 25 to like 2,800 bushels, it's not going to be bad. Let's uh, take a look and see here. Are we getting close to filling this bin? Okay, we're only half, so we should be able to fit it all in the one bin. I'm hoping. and pull this guy under the combine auger get that unloaded and yeah we'll bring the other one back because with a full combine that's like 60% in a truck so it will not take much more to fill one If we don't use it, we don't use it. But I'd rather uh, bring it over here. Or back over here, I should say. Definitely going to be interested to uh, see how much corn we end up with. I don't even know where exactly we're at right now. We'll look here after uh, we dump this truck and see. got so far corn 2,562 bushels already holy smokes okay so we're gonna be 3,000 bushel area uh, let's see how full is our bin here just about 70 percent it's at 69 percent right now so we should be able to fit everything else in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that we can. I don't think we'll have enough to fill it. No, we won't, cause 50% was about five trucks. So, no, I don't think, I don't think we'll be filling it. Perfect, and this guy is done.
Lots and lots of corn, that is for sure. Which I think corn sells for a pretty decent price, so that is also going to uh, help help us out here with uh, financing. Because then once we buy more fields, we also got to buy the uh, soil maps for it, so. There's that extra cost in there. So we got about, I'm going to say, two more passes. what it's looking like here. up correctly here. There we are, we're half full. I think, yeah, we'll be able to fit the last of this in this combine. But I don't think it'll all fit in the one truck. I don't want to drive it all the way back to the farm with grain in the hopper, so this'll, uh, this'll work perfect. get turned around and get the last pass of harvest 23 in the books which is kind of ironic because this will be the last time that we do a harvest in game before the end of the year anyways so Just a little baby windrow now. And there we are, folks. Harvest is complete. So let's get this guy dumped. Let's take a look here. 34 minutes, so not much longer than a normal video either, which works out great. So we'll get this truck topped off, get the rest dumped in the other one. And uh, what we're going to do is we'll pull the combine over the other truck. And while it's dumping, we'll unload the first one. And then get our second one dumped. So that way we can see what we ended up with. And then uh, I'll take care of washing everything up off camera. And get everything put away. Then we'll be ready next episode we'll bale up some corn stalks and uh, get some other stuff done so so there's not going to be a whole lot left there isn't a whole lot. 78 bushels almost. So again, wouldn't have needed to bring the other truck back, but it didn't hurt anything to do it. Do 
another 420 bushels going and then we'll have another 77 so it'll be another 500 bushels so we'll be over 3,000 which is not too shabby off of just that field if we would have put a bigger field in we would have really had some corn Okay, he can unload, we'll bring this one back. And yeah, I left a few spots of corn, but oh well. truck is done. So we'll get this one out of our way. And then we'll dump this guy. We ended with 3,067.7 bushels. So in January, that is $98,000 worth of corn. So not bad, not bad at all. If we wanted to, we could sell all of our hay for 65000 and our straw for another 49000 but yeah, so if we were to sell everything that we have, which obviously we aren't going to be selling our straw, liquid fertilizer, lime, herbicide, any of that stuff, but $665,000 max value. It's not too bad. So folks, I'm going to get everything cleaned up, everything put away, and uh get the 44 hooked up to our baler and get that over to our field get the combine back all that fun stuff and then tomorrow we will start baling some corn stalks so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome hit that subscribe button if you like what you see if you have not done so already be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, folks, we'll see you all in the next one.